Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your 15th tutorial on jQuery. And in this tutorial, we are going to reconsider our chatbot structure, which consists of uh, HTML, JavaScript, and CSS styles. And since we're, we are already done with styling the chatbot and writing the code for the HTML structure, we can split it into uh, three components, CSS, JavaScript and HTML. And first, let me grab all those uh, CSS lines of code, cut them, create a new document. And I usually have all my CSS files within a folder called CSS. And let's just call it style.css and paste the content to this file and close it. And after you do that, make sure you uh, you can actually get rid of the style, by the way. Make sure you link to the CSS file, otherwise your document will look like this. So this is how a document, an HTML page looks like without any styles. And in order to link, you just say, uh, you just create a new link tag. And uh, this href property stands for, uh, for the path to the CSS file we are going to append which is css slash style dot css and we can check it looks uh, better and now let me grab all those javascript lines of code uh, cut them create a new document and go to the folder uh, js and js stands for javascript and we already have jquery inside of this folder and i will name my file script.js and after you did that make sure you um, add this file to your HTML document which is actually the same as if you would add jQuery to the page so you use the same attribute uh, csrc which is source and is stored in a folder called js and, it, and the script uh, file name is script.js. So now we pretty much have split our uh, HTML document into three components and now we see HTML and then we have the CSS and we also have the JavaScript. And as I said we're already done with styling it so we can close the CSS and we I don't think we are going to make some big changes to the index.html file so we can already uh, close it and now we can focus on the script.js yeah and the next thing I want to do is the following you know we have we still have this issue that the chatbot rewrites the previous messages and we don't want to have that so what I want to do I want to um, when I, after I say my name, I want to still see the chat history. And remember, we uh, use this brief state in the previous tutorials uh, so that we can um, append the history before the new messages. And we can actually get all this brief state things to the function uh, called um, send message. And the function send message, what it does, it just pretty much sends the messages from the chatbot. So um, we can we still can can have this brief state and length and everything. And instead of username and new message, we can just say message. And between brief state and message, we still need this pen. So that you can highlight that, uh, highlight the word chatbot. So uh, the user knows that uh, this message is comes from the chatbot. So let's get rid of this line of code, and now it should work. So hello, what is your name? My name is jQuery, and it says nice to meet you, jQuery. How are you doing? So you, you still have all this chat history and you know the chatbot replies very very fast 
So I think we'll add some timeout in the next tutorial so that it looks like more naturally. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learn new stuff and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a nice one.